Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cesar here with a video here today it brings a brand new episode of redesigning your projects episode number six We're basically just take some of your products from discord and uh, put my twist to it uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm not gonna spoil what the first one is But I think a lot of you guys might actually like the first design so hopefully you guys do enjoy and uh, if you guys do Be sure to leave a like on the video just so I know the series is like you guys still love it because I still love it And I feel like you guys do love it. You guys watch a lot. This is probably my worst, most watched throughout videos So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I'll not hold you any longer, but uh, also the new angle you guys you guys like it you guys like it i don't know let me know but enjoy and uh that's all i got enjoy all right guys so the first header we have that we're gonna be redesigning today is a jiggly naruto theme banner by dmi now he doesn't even have the psd but he just said like what could you do what would you do to like fix this and i was like Okay, it's been like maybe six, seven years since I've ever done an anime header in a very long time. I mean, I watch anime, but I've never done anime headers. I just never kind of, I don't know. So we're going we're gonna to learn this one together. And uh, let's just see what we can do. Try to use at least the same exact theme. Um, the pictures that he's using right here are a little bit low quality. So I just have a whole bunch of different Naruto pictures to hopefully use and just go with and make and look cool. And that's what we're going for. So let's just hop right into this. All right, first things first. I also didn't even notice. I didn't even drag in like a uh what would you call those sh 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 shootikins all right i think this was gonna work i definitely need one on an angle so this is definitely that's definitely a good angle i need maybe one more angle it's a little bit different all right i'm just gonna roll with these three as like a little bit of a potential so let's actually build this thing right now first things first i'm gonna drag in my naruto character right here and i also need like sort of like i know the wind or whatever kind of like goes around it i might need something like that as well like a wind what would you call that i mean i just typed in anime wind right here it's actually pretty cool i'm actually gonna drag this one in so I just found like a random image. I'm just gonna image trace this one. We're just gonna use this and somehow try to blur it and make it hopefully look somewhat cool. Um, all right, so background time. Let's actually just toss in our background images in here as well. It's this one right here and right here. Drag in a nice action image as well. I'm gonna rotate this one or flip this one actually and make this a lot bigger. I'm gonna basically kind of cut it off right at the top here too. I think it's gonna be a nice little sort of like transition going on there. We'll make sure we do it like this. Um, let's throw in a few shurikens. Yeah, I think this is actually a pretty cool angle for the shuriken. I'm going to kind of throw this one, like, uh, somewhere, like, over here for now. Just kind of add some depth. Right now, everything, I'm just kind of, like, placing everything just so I can look and kind of feel how it's going to look and see and, and work. And hopefully, it makes so much, so much sense after I put, like, effort into the color correction part. Now, if I'm honest, I have no idea what font. I mean, actually, this is kind of sick. It just kind of works. Yo, high key. I almost was gonna say I don't know what I want, but this is kind of this is kind of a vibe for now. And also, is it weird? Is it weird if I use like the what is what font is that called? GK Type One? Maybe. Maybe I can do that too. I actually feel like I have a really good foundation to go off of here. I think I need to figure out right now. Like, do I want like orange one side, white one side, something? And like, of course, how much do I want to color correct this dude? Okay, let's actually start with the background orange. Let me just try to make a nice little orange. No, no, let's color correct them first. Match the orange actually. Base is just turning up some saturation from his orange jumpsuit kind of thing. His yellow hair, and of course, like a little bit of texture, a little bit of clarity. Nice, perfect. I just want this kind of tone to this orange, this orange over here, to kind of match a little bit. I think over here in the background, I actually might make this black and white, like some kind of like black and white, like this almost like a very washed out black and white it almost feels very sketchy almost like in a way like actual sketches now what i'm also gonna do is i'm gonna throw on a nice little filter gallery sort of like half tones i think that might look pretty cool something literally like this this half tone pattern right here with like a nice size and like a very simple contrast press ok makes it pretty subtle i think something like that is pretty good i actually might even try to combine these two and make it a little more aggressive with like a nice sharpening i like that that's pretty good for now. I like that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's actually also lower this background because I'm definitely not going to make this blue. This is going to be like super, super black or maybe really orange. I mean, that's kind of weird, but also fun at the same time. I feel like there's no limitations to like how, how ridiculous you can go with this. I'm not going to lie. This is actually such a tough choice. I feel like I might go with orange for now and then somehow try to build in more black by just layering on top of the orange i feel like that would make more sense for like contrast wise honestly stick with me for a second what if i added some sort of like cool little symbols like this but they were like super like black right like whatever tone this is i think this is pure black at this point right screw it. i'm just gonna make them pure black why not right and i feel like that's kind of like a cool way to do it now oh my god i got another idea what if i were actually overlay see like i have some other pictures what if i just would just take this picture for now Overlay it inside here. Uh, we'll just do this, right? And if I just kind of like move this here, there's never too much Naruto, right? Something like this. Now, if I want to take a color correction or a gradient map, if it wasn't pure black already. Oh, oh, wait. 
that could actually be kind of fire. If I were actually to add on that same hex tone like over here, will it look that, okay. Okay, hold up. Let me try the same as I think over here again. Upset if I even use more like fuller images. Like I feel like this little fuller image probably works a lot better. See, I feel like that already adds in so much value, but the only issue that I'm having here is what do I do with the text to actually make it stand out? Um, that's what I'm having an issue with. Like what if I were to actually switch in the background to be more black and then make the hex tones like an orange gradient? Something like that, right? Okay, I feel like I'm in a good spot, but I've yet to like really, really home it in somewhere. I need to, let me, let me see what I got, what else I got. Wait, I just realized, you know what I think would be a freaking dope idea? I just found like this one right here. What if I were to take this, make it really big, it doesn't really matter. Go to filter, uh, distort, twirl? Is that what it is? I think so. We'll go into here and kind of twirl it like this. Tell me if you guys, all right, right now the comments is right now below. Do you know what I'm about to do with this twirl here? Let me see if we're on the same page or not. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. I'm gonna press okay. Drag it over here. Throw it right there. That looks actually sick on its own. But like throw it right here. Was I somewhat close to what you were thinking? Wait, that looks so sick on its own. Now if I throw in like a screen or a linear dodge ad. I think I did something. I think I did something. <laughs> I think I did something, guys. This actually works. Wait, it actually works way better. Wait, this actually works so, so much better than I thought. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna struggle with like this kind of tone here. Also, the orange already kind of matches as well. I'm down with that. Now let's try to figure this out too still, cause I need to figure out like, maybe this needs to be like a yellowish. Blue is kind of cool, but I mean, I might need to like go up here a little bit. Now if I were to really quickly recall back to like what uh, we had on DMIs, I can actually probably add in that kind of stroke and idea. Cause realistically there's not too much of an idea going on right now. I'm kind of like freestyling it still. Um, but yeah, let's actually try to throw in like a white, white outline and maybe some kind of way to put a gradient in. Okay, now tell me, is this dumb or is it not dumb? Cause I don't know yet. It might be dumb because we don't have it anywhere else, but I have an easy place maybe to even put it if we do need to add it somewhere else. And to make this texture look a little bit better, take the texture and just literally throw it up, clarity throw it up, make that thing look super aggressive in the background. Nice. Now what I'm thinking is I take him, we're gonna make him a little bit bigger, rasterize the image real quick, and throw this paper texture on that image there, that silhouette, and see what we get. Right, so now is this or is this not dumb? I don't know. It's kind of fun, it's kind of cool, Maybe we add a little bit of orange to it. Like both of these being black right there is actually kind of dope. Maybe the black is what I need here. What if I now take a stroke, put on like a gradient stroke, make it orange to like this yellow. I mean, yes, in a way, I think. What if I do the same thing over here as well? Stroke and kind of delete where I don't like it. Like all these little, little dots and stuff like that. I don't want any of this stuff. Very subtle, little subtle thing. Okay, now I waited till last-ish to do this part because I wanted to see what it'll even look like. This why is this so big? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing over here. Remember like this from the early, early beginning? I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna try to throw this in right here right now. So let's just kind of say like this. Oh no, let's do the same thing before. Let's do this. Pretty good size one, right? We'll make three things like this. Then we'll combine them again and then twist it to something like that. Right, now we'll drag it in. Okay, even that alone looks kind of cool and dope to be fair with you. Like, hold up, because that looks actually really dope. It also makes you think, does this need to be this blue tone actually? Like this nice baby blue? Yo, wait a second. Dude, happy mistakes, like they, <laughs> they happen so often. Now I'm gonna take one of these orange, this darker orange color from like up here a little bit to make it feel very cohesive in a way. Do it like that, okay. That was, that's, that, that, mm, that's a great decision, to be honest. Now if I can take this now, then we'll throw on a motion blur. So it kind of feels like that. And I'll even go ahead and go into it now. We'll take like a nice blue color over it a little bit. Then we'll go into linear dodge add. I'll even go ahead and just throw the saturation up a little bit more. There we go. Something like that. Just even throwing an entirely another one on might look pretty good. Yo, where did, how did we even get here? I have no idea how we even got here. Um, okay. I feel like all I'm missing out now is just like a little simple little miscellaneous things like one, two, three, four, toss into that like GK font. This one over here, we'll just make sure it's orange. So we're just gonna throw it up here as well, right? And then we'll throw in like 
a white one or an orange one like over here. Now I don't do this very often, but if I'm gonna take a drop shadow for a second, go ahead and just make this a nice black and white drop shadow, right? That looks kind of cool too. A lot of people like to do this, by the way. If you ever are wondering what else you can do to like change up variants or whatnot, take a black and white, take a color raw, or excuse me, a color filter, a color range, excuse me, and just click around. And you might find some places where you can actually make the black and white look pretty cool. If you drag this up super like this, like almost like that, right? You see how everything else is black and white. Only the orange stands out in a very few amount of spots. That is a super, super little fun dope technique that I'm going to use because I feel like I, I think it needs to work. It just makes so much sense. Look how good that looks like that now. That is actually so fire. Let's go ahead and save it. And we'll go ahead and just make one final camera raw filter. Toss this up. How much do I want to toss that up? A lot or nah? Cause you see how nice and sharp this is looking right here. I love that look. I like that. I'm a fan. That was fun. That was really, really, really fun. It's just, it's just, it's very sporadic. It's very full. It's very energy. I feel like that's what anime definitely is. Now I've already quickly toss up for you guys the before and after. It's not very much so that the before was actually had a general direction. He just basically told me to like take it and throw it in a direction that I feel like. And I think I did a pretty good justice and hopefully gave a lot of you guys ideas if you guys work with anime banners. Like you guys can tell me if I did good or not, but I think it actually looks super, super dope. I'm so, so happy with it. Hope you guys are too. Let's go ahead and move on to the next project. And uh, I think it's gonna be another header. All right guys, so the next redesign we're gonna be doing is for a G2 Caps League of Legends mid header design here, designed by e -Zira. Um, I do think a lot of people actually go for this idea and almost in a way, hopefully help you guys gear toward more how to evolve from this concept here. Cause I feel like this is a very, very standard concept that kind of works. However, uh, how do I just spice it up just a little bit? So let's go ahead and get this thing going right here, right now. So I'm gonna drag in this background here to get this thing started. One of the cool things you guys, you can see what happens here, right? A lot of you guys end up actually end up doing that. Uh, we kind of like just erase the, the side a little bit to make it blend because it's like blurred off technically, right? However, with this kind of like section that we have here, he actually made a perfect value where the top to bottom ratio, you can see here, it's like cut off right here. It kind of has like a line that says, yo, you can stop right here. You can stop right here. If you just pencil this entire part out right here, it can just easily make it look a lot more seamless and transition. So I'm gonna try that out real quick. Just like just putting this little color or kind of like seamless transition, the background just looks way, way, way better in my opinion. Now, of course, to throw on that nice gradient. So this kind of have this little gradient that was going on here, right? It's a lot dark, it's way too dark in my opinion, right? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little gradient here, to this little purple right here. Now the part where it's actually gonna make this look really, really cool in my opinion, if I lower the fill down for a second, okay? Make sure I click on this little sort of like a uh, layer mask for the actual uh, gradient. I'm gonna go over to all these little parts that have glows. So the eyes right here have glows, right? I'm just gonna kind of erase those, erase this here, and kind of do all of that for like all these different things that have glows, like everything that's blue or purple. Something that basically makes the background stand out to make it look like the background itself with a gradient on top has almost like a texture to it, but it's just you taking some of the color from the actual original photo and bringing it out forward. Now for me, I think this over here is actually gonna look so freaking dope on his arm. So I'm gonna make sure I do this nice and clean and hopefully get as many kind of lines as I possibly can. All right, this is coming out pretty good so far. I'm just trying to like find all these little things that I can do and take. I just feel like everything at this point here that I actually do in the sense where like, if it's a darker gradient, anything that you do highlight will almost look like it's already kind of glowing um, just because of the course of the scenario and the contrast. I'm loving this. I'm actually really, really loving this. Such a simple idea, but like it just does so, so much. See, now just tell me that does not look actually super fire. That actually looks so, so good. I'm happy with that. Like that's so, that's so sick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the subject, which is this little character right here, or character, uh, player right here. There we go, now we got the image here. I'm making them a little bit bigger, just a little bit like that. I think like that is okay. We'll take that, we'll take that, that's fine. Now he definitely does have a little camera off filter on apparently, but I don't think this is even close to enough. I do want a little bit of clarity and a little bit of texture that just adds that nice, cool little grit, fun dopeness to it. I think I'll be okay just like that, right? There we go, and it looks really, really good. Okay, so caps, the name I wanna put in here. I do think the font that he used over here is like a little bit too like, eh, you know, just a little, you know, a little bit. 
Um, so I'm gonna take a font, okay. Now, I'm actually gonna use something that has a lot more horizontal space, right? You got like horizontal fonts, then you have like vertical tall fonts, right? So over here, you can see the struggle that there was all this space that was empty over here. If you used a more horizontal font that was longer, right? It would just look and feel a little bit easier and easier to work with and easier to fill space. So that's what I'm gonna do over here. I'm gonna go ahead and write the same little subtext in League of Legends mid. I'll put League of Legends mid later four. That way we kind of have like a little segue to like four who. We'll put G2 logo. I think that looks nice and clean just like that. I might throw the subtext on like a nice, like sort of grayish, like pinkish, purplish, I meant to say. A uh, color like that might look pretty good. We'll take all these sponsors as well, drag them over here. Now I wanna give them a little more separation, right? We can make them a little bit smaller. But realistically, we want to give them a little more separation because I feel like G, uh, the BMW, if you look at this right here, gets kind of lost very, very quickly. I feel like that makes more sense in comparison to all the other logos. Same thing with this. And then Red Bull, the same exact thing. Now, if it was also up to me, I would also kind of change the color to be like either pure white. Um, but otherwise, I do think keeping the same sponsor logos, your usual colors, is your best bet because sometimes sponsors themselves will come back and be like, yo, we don't want to use this secondary color, we use our primary colors. So I want to use it, use the primary colors and call that a day. What if I place the actual uh, icons over here, the logos over here, the, the sponsor logos? Does that make sense? I mean, it does, it kinda does. I don't hate it. Do I love it? I don't know either. If I'm honest, I'm not like super opposed. It kinda makes sense. I just feel like it looks a little bit too empty over here and I don't wanna add another character over here either. So, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add some a little smoke in here like he did too. I feel like that right there is pretty close to where I want it. Then I'll just take this one, kind of like, kind of fill this up a little bit more, like over here. We'll throw this one behind him as well, because why not? I didn't actually use the, uh, the, the, in the Naruto banner thing, that cool little stock that we found. This one right here. I'm gonna use it here, because why not? I feel like I need a little more texture on this left hand side. And we'll just like use this as like a cool little texture element, kind of float a little bit through the, the mid, the mid ground a little bit, like that, right? We'll take the same gradient. Uh, purple just by erasing a little more on the right hand side. I think that's a pretty solid look like if I'm being honest It looks pretty fun and pretty cool. Just adds that little fun atmosphere element to it Um, I might even make it a little more darker though right now that for me feels pretty good just by doing stuff like that Now if I want to as well, let's see what happens if I add a little bit of glow to the eyes and stuff So that definitely does something that looks so freaking good, too Okay, I think the only thing I didn't actually put in this banner is the sort of like little caps he has in the background here I'm not the biggest fan of always doing that like this little part right here You see the caps in the background as well I'll just add that as well just so I can make it kind of feel like it's all you know Kind of putting all the elements that he put into there But the way I'm gonna do it this time I'm gonna make it pretty big and I might even change the font now I don't know why but I think the dead stock one is kind of speaking to me a little bit And I'll just throw the same exact purple gradient that I did before gradient Take the nice purple one, right? But this time I take the angle and use a, I'm gonna use a, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna use a style angle. Do something like this, reset alignment, and kind of use this in a way to kind of make the background feel almost like holographic in a way, I think is the word I wanna use. There we go. It almost feels like a more, more of like, a, almost like a watermark in a way, and I'm not too opposed to it. I mean, it's not too distracting, it's not too crazy. It doesn't actually draw it for me, if I'm being completely honest, that much. Um, but. I do think it does add a little bit of value with this little sort of like section right here. It adds this little empty space, darker space. It kind of feels nice right there. So uh, I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Um, last, well, one more thing, maybe one more thing. If I just add a little bit of glow right on the cap's name, lower the lightness down a little bit on this, and does that look better? And then finalize it with a nice little color correction. Boom, there we go. I think this is it. This is actually really, really freaking good. I love how this actually came out. So for you guys, I'll just throw in a nice little before and after for you guys as well, just so you can see what I actually did. Um, so kind of like just taking it and of course, of course, making the actual, how do you say, the right hand side text like group look a little more easier to kind of understand and read and kind of feel a little bit more kind of like filling the white space. The background standing out being very played into the actual foreground of the actual background looks really, really dope. And uh, yeah, I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm satisfied with it. You guys let me know if you guys are satisfied with it. I think I did a pretty stellar job. And it's overall showing you guys how much you can just take your original idea and just execute on the things that you do know how to do. So 
With that being said, that is it for me today. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video here today. As always, of course, if you guys did, I know you guys probably like these videos a little bit more because I see like you guys watching like six to ten minutes in. Um, so if you guys did, of course, leave a like on the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I love you guys. I'm gonna leave you guys to that. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love. I also skipped over productive. Stay productive. Later, much love, peace, and enjoy your day.